My name is Stanley Scott. I'm with the African American Economic Recovery Think Tank, located in Jacksonville, Florida. I want to take this time out, send some information to my people uh, around the United States and around the world, but mainly in, in the United States. The, these issues that we continue to have, every, I would say every three months, every, almost every three months, you have someone being killed by the police regardless of race, is being killed by the police. Let's talk about Jacksonville. Jacksonville, for example. Jacksonville, the sheriff is controlled, well, let me see, let me take that. It's managed, that would be politically correct, it's managed by the governor. The way the consolidation of Jacksonville, the consolidation of Jacksonville, the governor in charge of the sheriff. Now I don't understand why grassroots leadership can't get that in their head. They keep talking about the sheriff when they should be talking to the governor. Now, when they come to the, the mayor, do your research people and you'll see what needs to be done. I'm not against the mayor, but the mayor been messing up. That situation with JEA is just one. It's just one place. We got also with Kids Hope Alliance. You you got a bamboozle taking place over there, DIA. And then you got a, a transportation problem over there where they're using technology. I'm talking about spending money like crazy. The JTA when it's not necessary. Why are you going to have mobility or running up and down Bay Street when there's no, probably no traffic or no people? There is no business community downtown Jacksonville. I don't understand that, people. Why are we allow JTA to do that? But the point here for my, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm uh, doing this video is because of African American leadership. I mean, you know I have talked about it and people get upset and all that, like I don't care. I do not care when people get upset from the African American community because they, are, they like the knowledge. It's, yes, they like the knowledge of what's taking place. You have African American leadership. First of all, don't know where the money is. Don't know how to get the money. If you're talking about money, or, or, or getting your taxation, I'm talking about your taxation. I'm talking about not someone giving you something. I'm talking about your taxation. Pastor, new bill. They got a crew. Gundy, Pastor Gundy has his crew. You have Pastor uh, Gunn and his crew. You have uh, a church crew over there on 26 in Mount Creek. You got Samson, Pastor Samson, off of Sutella over there. He got his crew. None of them work together. Yeah, they don't work together. Yes. When the where the first bamboozle, uh, where African American politicians sold us out, was consolidation. Then, then come the Better Jacksonville plan. They sold us out. I'm talking about African Americans. Pastors sold us out. See, because when they, when they come to uh, Issues in the in the city, and when they come to money, when they come big money, when they want to get a project done or whatever the case may be, depends on where it is and what type of project. They get certain members of the clergy, the African American clergy, to sign off on it. I mean, you, it ain't nothing I come up with. You can check it for yourself. The information is available to you. 
uh, Flo uh, Time Union does a great job. Now, when it comes to African American in Jacksonville newspaper, they are too much into the bougie. What I mean, bougie by that they give you more like entertainment news. They don't give you the, the, the real information because they don't want you to get upset with them so they can maintain their quality of life. But what we need to understand here, African American leadership is bamboozing the African American community. City Council, the African American City Council, I'm a, not all of them, I'm going to I'm I'm give Dennis, Gary Dennis, a pass because he stand up. But what I'm talking about for almost 60 years since the end of post civil rights, African American leadership has been dead. They have bring they have bring no intellectual capital to the African American community. The African American think tank deal with economics, holistic economics. We cover four areas: family infrastructure. Uh, we deal with education, Afrocentric education. We deal with Preventive, preventive health care, what you can do from, from, from home, stuff you can do for yourself, walking, drinking, uh, water, uh, eating proper food, don't eat as much as you, you see in front of you. We'll, we'll talk about all that later then. Number four, collective economics. What type of business that we can come together and agree on and be a for ourselves? That's what the think tank about. Now we have we advocate we advocate for civil rights too, but that's more under the uh, family infrastructure and in, uh, economics and education. African American leadership is despicable. Now how do I know? I'm in the meetings. I'm in the city hall. I read this data. I pass it down to my community because you can pull it up. You can put the African American think tank and you'll see information that we have posted. Don't believe nothing we say. We did, all we are is a vehicle for you to get the information. That's what we do. We have people saying all kinds of stuff. Uh, but what we do, we are a think tank. We are 20 to 50 years ahead of the future as far as what needs to be done in the African American community. The faith base need to stay in their lane. The faith based community need to stay in their lane. When you're talking about economics, we have people with, with subject matters in Jacksonville, in the African American community, who's not given the opportunity to be heard. Now when I say to be heard, it, it's to bring information to the community. Uh, not not the bringing information to the leadership that the leadership will take the information and pass through the community. They are not doing that. They are so consumed with themselves, and they can talk that noise if they they want to. They are doing the same pathology. That I won't get deep into that right now. But not, a, a lot of them are not living a quality life. There's drugs involved, there's sex involved in there. There's uh, 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 some of them are living beyond their means. There's a lot of issues that I can bring up and prove. Because one thing I can do, I can read. If I want to know about a pastor or get an idea, you can reach out to the government to find out what they're doing. What, the, the, the name of the business, what business they're in, uh, the, uh, 
how much the house costs, all that, the public record, people. It ain't stuff I come up with, it's public record. You can check, but due to your, your own apathy, your own apathy, your individual apathy, you allow the African American leaders to bamboozle our community. That's right. They have bamboos in our community. The, the African American leadership in Jacksonville are so dumb that they leave millions of dollars on the table. I'm talking about taxation that should be coming into the community. Because they are so busy trying to get something for themselves. They miss the real money that would empower them and the community too. That's, that's how you how ignorance. I mean, I'm just going to have to call it the way it is because this stuff is out of control, man. Since 1969, African American leadership has failed the community. Like I say, those bourgeoisie leaders, mega press, uh, uh, pastors, are not bringing information. They're looking out for themselves. And look at them boys. Look at them. Make nothing but a bunch of big boys. When I say big boys, they're in poor health condition. You can look at them for yourself. Look for yourself. Look at the picture. They tell you a lot about them. They're just a bunch of big boys. Because if they get their act together and try to uh, uh, look decent, it affect the community. When you see them, them bunch of big boys. I say that yeah, big boys. They don't care about them, them their own self. You think they're gonna care about you? And I'm talking about something I I'm not talking about something I know. I work out and the reason why I work out cause it make a difference health wise or at my age. I wanna be the best I can be. But if something come up where I get sick, it's quicker for me to recover because my body's in pretty good shape. It make a difference. That's a plus there. But the African American leadership is not talking about that. They're not talking about preventive health care when we talk about uh, uh, the coronavirus. A lot of African Americans are dying because they was already in poor health condition. It's not just the insurance. Because in America here, you can get help. Whether you, you, you don't have money, there's, they can check your blood, they can do a lot of different things right here. There's a lot of organizations do a lot of things here, uh, uh, faith-based. I'll talk about that later, because uh, there's some problems in the faith base that we need to address too. But right now we're just talking about leadership. See, every time something happens, uh, this situation here, people, uh, I understand the pain, and you hear what I say, I understand the pain. But I deal with African Americans getting killed all over this country. I'm telling you, about every three months, some police, most of the time, have killed an African American for no reason. For a little petty stuff, petty stuff. Right now, the point that I want you to understand, people, is the African American leadership. Since 1969, the African American leadership has ran away, has ran away from the community. Some are living in gated community, and nothing wrong with living in a gated community. If you if you come up. Ain't nothing wrong with come up. I'm all about the come up. I believe in that. I believe in the come up. That's the life I live. I believe in the come up. But the most important thing to me are the babies. That's the most important thing to me. The babies. The babies. The baby, the baby. And then seniors. I'm, I guess I have to laugh about that because I'm a senior myself. But uh, I'm a young senior, see, I'm still, um, let me get back to business. Okay, people, I'm not going to take much of your time, but I need you to think about this.
So I need you to think about the fact that we need to address our leadership. Now, we, we already talked about when it comes to racism and the murders, so there's, like I said, there's four types of murder going on in this country, right? There's the spiritual murder, right? There's emotional murder, there's mental murder, result of all three is the physical take place. And, and what's appalling about this, every time something happens, we are reactive. We are reactive people. A lot of issues that we can solve in our community if we become more proactive, embrace education. There's two types of education. People be talking about education, talking about all this, be talking by the school book. No. The, the number one education that you need in this world is life skill education. Life skill education. If you have life skill education, you can educate yourself. You don't need a school for that. Once you make up your mind and develop your self-esteem, invest in yourself, put the time in, hang out with people smarter than yourself. That's right, people as smart as you are, or smarter than, like I said, reinvest in yourself. And, and I'm always talking about reinvestment. I'm not talking about money all the time. I'm talking about reading books, right? Put your time in study. Prepare yourself. That's right. That's wealth too. That's part of it. But as long as you continue to go with those leadership, like I say, especially the faith based leadership. In the school board, we'll, address, we'll talk about that later. Uh, I'm just talking about the faith based leadership. The only you continue to follow them, them dummies, you know what kind of results you get. I don't have to tell you nothing. I'm just here to turn the light on.